meeting. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like the minutes to show that the that the uh, it's been uh, I've missed out on this in the past, but I've been advised that we need to mention that the meeting is being recorded. Um, motion to approve the minutes of the April 13, 2023 regular board meeting, and the minutes of the April 28th, 2023 work session. I'll make motion to approve the minutes of both of the meetings. Is there a second? I'll second. We move supported that we accept the place on file the minutes of the April 13th, 2023 regular board meeting and the minutes of the April 28th, 2023 special work session. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Being none, carried. Uh, you received a copy of your treasurer's report. Any comments or questions? Being none, place them on file, please. Uh, you received minutes from the Manistee Township Planning Commission meeting, April 12, 2023, regular meeting, and April 19, 2023, work session. Uh, any comments? Not place those on file, please. There was no appeals meeting. Anyone with anything to bring before the board at this time? Okay. County Commissioner, they haven't had a meeting, I guess, so he won't be here. Karen, you got something going on in your office? Uh, for April, there were no new complaints. There was one zoning permit issued and 14 requests for construction permits. Um, I spoke with the manager for Insolange and they have installed a stop sign at their um, entrance and exit located at the end of Park Avenue and Jerumbo Street right over here. Um, I had had several complaints regarding the traffic flow at that point um, and I do thank them very much for uh, completing that. That's going to um, take care of a bunch yeah. of issues over there. That'll help a lot. Yep. Uh, Michigan uh, self storage facilities uh, to be located at the corner of US 31 and Kimmer Road is expected to begin that project uh, this month. And uh, the Planning Commission, myself, and Guy have been holding work sessions uh, to discuss potential amendments to the zoning ordinance. Okay. Questions? Thank you. You're welcome. Joe's not here. I'm surprised, but I think they had a down power line. Um, not too long ago. Maybe that may be where he is. Fire truck went somewhere. Yeah, I've seen it though. Yeah. Uh, liquor inspector Rick, you got anything? Um, I have. The only thing I have is um, all the new licenses have been posted at all the establishments. Um, West Coast is kind of dragging their feet, but they're, they have it now. Okay. Other than that, no other issues. Those were due to be attached, right? Yes. Question? <clears throat> Thanks, Rick. Um, under new business, uh, township updates. I have uh, road work, uh, Shuda and Poland. We're supposed to have been done last week, but weather didn't allow that, so that will be done anytime soon. Uh, later on in the agenda, we have a consideration for the contract to redo Hill Road. Um, Mark Sheldon, the Madison County Road Commissioner, anticipates uh, if we agree to that contract that they will have a pre-construction meeting on or about the 19th of this month and that the work will probably be done in June. Um, Orchard Beach State Park, the Friends of Orchard Beach State Park, uh, at 
once again they've been awarded the three hundred thousand from the Michigan Land Trust Fund, but the legislators have not um, passed whatever it is they need to pass to distribute that money. Um, on Monday night, I tried to get the fellows to come here, but I knew they wouldn't come here. So on Monday night, I presented a plaque to Jim Edmondson and Jack Denson for their 50 years of service to the Manistee Township Fire Department. On May 9th, the fire department uh, was 50 years old. Jack and Jim are, uh, are charter members of that organization. Uh, they were very appreciative, but I knew they wouldn't come to this meeting. So. <laughs> Uh, on a side note, uh, on August 5th, they'll have a uh, open house for the 50 years of uh, <coughs> being in. Joe, I see, we'll back up a minute if we, you got something? Sorry, he no, no, some medical calls. So. Yeah, I understand, yeah. Um, yeah, last month we had six medical related calls, four fire related. 20 lift assists and the chief and officers hours we did we put in 60 hours trying to keep our department going and looking nice. Um, the ladder truck uh, got full service done uh, last month. No, we're still all changes and grease and everything. 132 is going in. Um, we're still keeping the station clean and apparatus clean as much as possible. Uh, revenue sharing, we won't hear nothing until next month. Um, and if we get what we're asking for, which we're asking 35000 And And uh, the AAA grant, I did get an email back saying that uh, we didn't get it. So be looking at other grants possibly to do the that type of gear that we need. Um, to me we still have the finest folks on our fire EMS department and I can't thank them enough for their time and commitment with us. Uh, I just had another guy uh, tonight actually stop in wanting to join. So I've been getting a few people interested in coming on board. Uh, training, we did actually some training on our Alexa pool program, which is on the computer. Uh, we watched some videos on some uh, firefighter stuff, and then we have to take a test, and then we get CEU credits for our firefighting certificates out of it. And let's see here. Yep, I already said that we had some people. Uh, I've had like three or four people in the past few weeks interested in joining me. So, um, so the, did you guys talk about Jacob P uh, possibly coming on as a No, we did not. That's yeah. the next thing on the agenda. Oh, that's the same. Yeah. Okay. And that's all I got for you guys. So that okay? Any question? Thank you. <clears throat> Make sure you let everyone know that we appreciate everything you're doing over there. Well, oh. that brings us to the second uh, item on the new business, and that's a considered probate, probationary firefighter. You want to yeah. Someone? Okay. Yeah, Jacob Pete, which is uh, Dave Pete's son. He turned 18 in March, and he'll be graduating high school this month. I think it's next week. Jacob has been active with his dad over there for quite yeah, some time. Yeah, he's been active as a cadet for like two, three years now. Yeah. So. Um, I apologize that I don't know. Is there is 18 the minimum age? Yes. Yes. If you're if they're younger than 18, then they have to be considered a cadet. They cannot be actually a member of the department. They're okay. just a cadet. Okay. Well, I think Jacob would be a good choice. He's, he's there all the time. Oh, yeah. He's very interested in it, and he actually helps us out on the trains and stuff. So, and we'll have a 
fire, fire academy through the association this winter that he'll be taking and, and a few others that come out of their fire academy. What's your wishes? I make a motion that we um, put Jacob P. in as a probationary firefighter. Mm -hmm. Support. And who supported that Jacob P. be accepted as a probationary firefighter? Discussion? How long is that probation? It's two years. Okay. You have to have your firefighter one <clears throat> done within two years, okay. according to the state. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Being none, carry. Thank you. He'll, he'll, he'll be an asset. Yes, he will be. Uh, trash bids. Um, the last meeting, AJ was here, and a couple of us had a question about. Um, about their bid? And yeah, he, he, he offered that he could yeah. lower his bid if it was for the yeah. agenda. Yeah. Okay. And would so agenda to provide that. Yes, he did. And he did. Yeah. And they're still substantially yes. above. That's the agenda. It's just the wrong bid. Substantially. Yeah. Mark the number. 14 percent. Yeah. Higher than. <laughs> right. Than waste reduction plus their increase, yearly increases, 5% per year rather than 3. That's what waste reduction works out for. So. With that in mind, um, I'd like to resolve this issue. Uh, well, I make a motion that we accept the bid from waste reduction. I support that. It's a three-year contract. Mm -hmm. It's been most supported that we accept the bid from waste reduction. Discussion? Yes. We have three separate bids from waste reduction, so. Yes. Well, we do. <laughs> because on the bids, we have a bid for trash removal, and we have another bid for the annual. And we have another bid for recycling, for curbside recycling. So we need to clarify what we're accepting, I would think. Well, the part trash of, what the part of the contract we're in? Yeah. How about just the trash at this point? Um, weekly the, trash. The weekly trash. <coughs> Before I came up with the percent, 
and I don't know what Republic was offering, whether they were offering um, uh, years past. We had uh, dumpsters, recycled dumpsters at the township, uh, at the fire department. If that was in their bid as well. Um, no, because okay. we don't do that anymore. Well, I know, I know, <laughs> but I don't know if if they were like, well, well, set you know cardboard and co mingle containers um, as well as provide door to door. I don't know if that was, but it, you know that is an option. So. Yes, yes, I understand, sir. So. Yeah. yeah. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Being done. Carried. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. Uh, next item is to consider the contract for the hill road repairs. Uh, they opened those bids on uh, Wednesday. Um, Pardon me? Like yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> and at that meeting, they've signed the agreement with Ruth Riley for 441-746-06. That was projected. Um, uh, we had received a copy of the uh, bids that were presented. That was the low bid. No, they're not going to, that road's going to be tore up and put back down again. So, it's a major rebuild. So, unless anyone has, you know, unless, what, I'd like a motion to enter into the contract with the Manistee County Road Commission to do Hill Road, approximately 1.337 miles. Or our share is two hundred twenty thousand eight hundred seven eight hundred seventy three dollars and three cents. I'll make a motion to enter into the agreement with Manistee County Road Commission for the improvement so it'll work. Is there a second? I'll say. Then move supported we enter into a contractor agreement with the County Road Commission to have Hill Road repairs done to the tune of $220,873.03. Discussion? I have a comment. Yes, sir. What is the uh, need for that work on Hill Road? I just drove down Hill Road coming here and it seemed fine to me. No, the road is separating. Um, and if you go on the north end, the hill road, where it goes down between the, 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 the other hill, the north hill, and um, Cot Road, there's a clay knot that goes across there, or a clay vein that goes across there that every year heaves up with frost, and you can see that it's been repaired several times. And the road center is splitting, and the shoulders are breaking off. And we're going to try and get that as a primary road because it's one of the main thoroughfares between US 31 and the, the uh, rerouted traffic that goes cut dots to M22. Okay. And that's a cost of about 220000 Yes, sir. That's our portion. <coughs> that's our portion. Well, you might as well say 221 because it's 873,000. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Did, did we get a motion and a second? Yeah. Yes. We got a motion, okay. we got a second. Well, so we did both. Okay. Discussion and then we'll go. <laughs> I wasn't sure where we were at. That's okay. Any other discussion? Call the roll, please. <clears throat> Mr. Dumas? Yes. Mr. Pino? Yes. Ms. Jankwich? Yes. <coughs> Taylor? Yes. Mr. Berkowitz? Yes. 
Thank you. Consider the 2022-23 budget amendment. Um, Diane, will you explain that, please? Approaching the end of the year, and our expenses have been a little unusual in this fiscal year. And so I've made a list of various <coughs> line item expenses that need a little adjusting in order to get to the end of the year. Um, they include uh, the retirement fund, insurance, education and dues, our capital outlay, wages, roads election expenses on um, buildings and grounds um, an allocation for parker projects as well as fire department insurance um, there's no <coughs> there's no um, increase in the budget only a shifting of money from one line item to another <coughs> to have the money budgeted where we're really needing the money to be at this point in time of the year. Do you need a motion to move that money? We do need a motion to adjust the budget, yes. Okay. <coughs> I make a motion that we adjust the budget based on Line item change number one as presented. And I'll support that. The most supported that the that the line item budget changes <coughs> uh, offered in change number one be uh, be made. Discussion? Questions? Discussion? Mm -hmm. roll? I do. Call the roll, please. Mr. Fino? Yes. Ms. Janquist? Yes. Cambridge? Yes. Mr. Doss? Yes. And Mr. Berghorst? No. Show the amendment, please. They were I in the so carried. Um, you received the bills. What are your, what are your wishes? <clears throat> I'll make a note, a motion to allow the bills paid as presented along with any additional incoming bills for the balance of the month. Is there a second? I'll second. The move supported that we pay our bills. Mm -hmm. All the bills for the the month. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Being done. Carried. The Manistee County MTA will meet uh, the 24th of this month at 6 p.m. at the Norman Township Hall. Now that's their annual dinner meeting. Uh, I think there's an RSVP for that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I believe yeah, that there, there is with Carol Merrill. Yeah, there is, and it's done. Okay. The Zoning Board of Appeals will meet Tuesday, June 6th. Uh, do you, you don't have any at this time? That is correct. Okay. The Manistee Township Planning Commission will meet Wednesday, June 7th at 9 a.m. here at the Town Hall. The next regular meeting of the Manistee Township Board will be Thursday, June 8th, 2023, 7 p.m. here at the Manistee Township Hall. Any other comments? The only comment that I have is please, please, please make sure you get a burn permit before you burn anything. Yes, sir. I have a question. Um, a couple of comments. Um, we don't have any recycling in the city. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't have any recycling in the township. No. Why not? Because I got tired of picking up after people. It, was there any, when it was terminated a few years ago, was there any? attempt to get any uh, residents uh, input on the issue? Maybe develop some volunteer organization to do the picking up? Well, what had happened was people were made aware that we're at the meeting that 
I would give like a monthly <coughs> update as to how much trash there was laying around and how much I had to clean up over there. And uh, uh, that's that would be considered public information, I guess. My second com uh, comment concerns uh, communication with the public. Uh, every community I've ever lived in sends out newsletters periodically, and mails out to the, you know to keep residents updated on what's what they're what's going on in the community. I never see any kind of written material. You get two a year with your tax receipts. No, I haven't seen them. Where do your tax receipts go? Yeah, I get the tax bill. You mean that's part of the, the yeah, you have a report to the community is part of that? That's part of the but there also the website is updated. How often is the website updated? As we have things to put on it. Okay. Yeah, we have residents who don't, you know, that's, that doesn't reach everyone. What would you like to see? Well, I'd like to see a, a more, you know, more written communication, uh, maybe separate from the tax bill. A lot of people just open up tax bills, pay the bill, and don't look <coughs> at whatever. I've never glanced at it either, so... But it's there for if you want to read it. Yeah, and then also with the recycling, I would, I would suggest that, uh, you know, the community has some input about the decision about not to have recycling. Because in, in, our, in, our, uh, in our county, we have, I think, 14 townships that are running recycling programs. We're not. And uh, I think there's a lot of interest out there in having a recycling program. Um, I myself have to depend on Onekama, which I'm not supposed to do because I don't live in Onekama. But I don't have any alternative. You don't have to, you don't have a way to get to Catholic Central or Manistee High School? You get where? Manistee High School or Manistee Catholic Central? That's not, I don't live in those areas, those areas either. They have posted that you're not supposed to use this for residents only. Well, you can also take it right to the landfill. Yeah, right, right to Republic Service. Right. <clears throat> and also, as far as communications go, for the interested citizens of the township, from the beginning of time, we've had this meeting here every second Thursday of the month that they're welcome to come. Just but, like yourself. But, but your cardboard and paper and stuff is accepted at <clears throat> one of those schools. Well, it is for sure at MCC. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not I'm to get some feedback that it's not acceptable at the school anymore. But it is well, just Manistee High School. At Manistee High School, that they yeah. are utilizing it for themselves only. Oh, I see. And I called MCC and they said, absolutely, anyone can come and bring their paper and cardboard. We'll be happy to have it. Just don't leave it on the ground if the truck is full. <laughs> <clears throat> and they have a nice plastic bin there. I use it every week. They do have plastics. And the city moved theirs out of there. Well, not too much got nothing but problems with theirs. They have a new, a new carrier. I'm going to suggest to be a new smaller, smaller, whatever. Yeah. And someone suggested that things are different, but I don't know. Uh, Dave, we've got a lot of contamination. We got we got fish guts. We got oil cans. We got well, it's an education issue. It's a constant. Well, it's an education in my time. Yeah, and people not willing to follow the rules. But those are problems that everybody has. And you put signs out there for two years. Yeah, there were signs out there not to not to do it. Yeah, I know. People were putting a local junk in there too, mm -hmm. dishwashers and yeah. everything else. Oh, yeah. I see it. I see it daily. If uh, it's unfortunate, but recycling becomes a uh, trash overflow. Mm -hmm. So uh, unless there's a, a way to police that, I mean, you know. Yeah. So we did try. <laughs> we tried for several years. Anyone else? Uh, motion's in order. Make a motion to adjourn. Do a second? I'll second. Then no support, do we adjourn? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Being done very much. Thank you all for your time.